The Roborock Q8 Max Plus is the latest update to the Q8 Max series. It features a higher powered suction mode that improves an already exceptional cleaning performance. In addition, the dual roller brush helps collect debris of all types and had excellent results on our hair tests. Finally, the large debris collection bag on the self-emptying docking station gives the Q8 Max Plus tremendous autonomy. The Roborock Q8 Plus had exceptional vacuum cleaning performance on both hard surfaces and carpet, removing 98.2% of debris by weight. It has a large collection debris bag, meaning fewer maintenance requirements. In addition, the Roborock app connectivity has high functionality and user customization settings. However, with the number of companies rapidly expanding the features and functionality of the robot vacuum world, the Q8 Max Plus does feel like it falls a bit short in terms of the base station maintenance functions. There is no dirty water tank or clean water refill with this version. Additionally, it doesn't have mop head cleaning feature either, further adding to the mopping maintenance. At Modern Castle, we test 13 different factors that impact the performance, build quality, and usability of the vacuum. On screen now is a complete list of our testing categories and their performance. This video is sponsored by NapLab. NapLab is our sister channel where we put mattresses to the test. We test mattresses through our battery of nine different tests to create the most objective, transparent, and helpful reviews possible. If you're in the market for a new mattress and need help, visit us over at naplab.com or on our channel at YouTube. To test the debris removal performance of the Q8 Max Plus, we put it through a series of 12 different cleaning tests consisting of three different floor types and four different debris types. We run the Roborock Q8 Max Plus over the debris on the highest suction power, letting it complete two cleaning cycles. After, we measure how much of the debris remained by weight. In our test, the Q8 Max Plus was able to remove 98.2% of debris by weight. This is 5.9% higher than the average of 92.3% based on all of our debris tests to date. The Q8 Max Plus had exceptional cleaning performance on all surfaces that it tried to clean up. Its impressive Max Plus suction and dual roller heads was able to capture both the largest and smallest debris on all surfaces. To test how well the Q8 Max Plus manages long hair and avoids tangles, we pit it against 1.0 grams of long hair. We lay the strands of hair on hardwood flooring and run the vacuum over it on max suction power with two complete cleaning cycles. In our long hair test, the Q8 Max Plus only had 30.0% of the hair tangle by weight. This is 22.3% less hair than the average tangle of 52.3% based on all of our tests to date. The hair that was tangled in the roller was easily removable. Since the dual rollers can be easily removed by simply removing the guard, it required little effort and no tools to clean the rollers. For our pet hair test, we embed 1.0 grams of pet hair into high power carpet. Next, we let the vacuum complete two cleaning cycles on the highest suction power. In our pet hair test, the Q8 Max Plus removes 100% of hair by weight. This is 27.9% more than the average of 72.1% removal based on all of our robot vacuum pet hair tests to date. This is one of the highest scores we have ever seen from a robot vacuum. Its dual brush rollers and powerful suction easily handled pet hair. For our edge cleaning test, we test to see how close to the edge the Q8 Max Plus can clean. To test this, we place half an ounce of debris, sugar, kitty litter, and a bit of rice directly along the edge of the wall to about four inches away from the wall. We then run the vacuum over the debris, letting it complete two cleaning cycles on the highest suction power. In our edge cleaning test, the Q8 Max Plus was able to remove 34% of debris by weight. This is 42.6% lower than the average of 76.6% based on all of our edge cleaning tests to date. The main issue we saw with the edge cleaning test was that the Q8 Max Plus was not getting close enough to the wall. We believe this is because of the obstacle avoidance features, avoiding the walls and not approaching them close enough to remove all the debris. To test the crevice cleaning capabilities of the Q8 Max Plus, we fill crevices in our tile testing lane with 0.3 ounces of sugar. We then let the robot complete a single cleaning pass on the highest suction power and check how much of the sugar remains by weight to determine performance. In our crevice test, the Q8 Max Plus is able to remove 100% of debris by weight from the deepest crevice. This is 2.7% more than the average of 97.3% based on all of our crevice tests to date. To test the mopping capabilities of the Q8 Max Plus, we check how well it can remove small scale stains and remove dirt on a broader scale. In our mop test, the Q8 Max Plus showcased excellent performance. On average, based on all of our robot mop devices we tested to date, we find they have excellent performance. The Q8 Max Plus meets our testing average. The back mopping pad did an excellent job to remove dirt from around the office. Unfortunately, the mopping heads do not lift off the ground when not in use or when they encounter carpet. If you intend to run the robot vacuum on carpet, we recommend removing the mop pad. The Roborock Q8 Max Plus has excellent navigation capabilities. While observing the robot around the office, it accurately mapped our office and avoided getting stuck on any of our equipment. 
Our cleaning speed test showed the Q8 Max Plus was able to clean our 1,000 square foot office and studio space in 46 minutes, which is about 15 minutes faster than our average. The top LiDAR sensor, obstacle sensor, front bumper, and wall sensors all help the Q8 Max Plus avoid major obstacles. To test the obstacle avoidance of the Q8 Max Plus, we place four objects in an area on the floor and send the robot to clean around them. We observe the cleaning cycle, checking to see how well the robot vacuum was able to navigate around the space and avoid the objects. The Q8 Max Plus was good, but not exactly great for obstacle avoidance in our tests. Throughout all of our other tests, and even during the obstacle avoidance test, we saw the robot identify and reroute multiple times on obstacles, lab equipment, and walls. However, when it came to testing objects, for some reason, it failed to detect the objects and had partial touches. The functionality and usability of the Q8 Max Plus is like many other robot vacuum mop combos. It cleans. What? <laughs> what sets this robot aside from others are the two debris collection rollers underneath. This feature gives the Q8 Max Plus a better chance of capturing many debris types throughout its cleaning cycles. Setup was easy, and the robot got right to cleaning after connecting to the app. The packaging was easy to remove, and no assembly was required. Make sure to fully charge the robot before first use, as it will likely just be partially charged out of the box. The app provides status information, set customized cleaning options, and is a gateway for software updates to keep all your Roborock devices running the latest software. What's nice and convenient with the Roborock app is that it syncs with other Roborock cleaning systems. To measure how loud the robot is, we run it through a series of tests on high pal carpet on each mode and measure the noise generated with a sound meter. Before the test, we take a measurement of the ambient noise in the room as a baseline comparison to the vacuum. In our noise test, the Roborock Q8 Max Plus generated 69.1 decibels of noise on max power. This is 0.14 decibels lower than the average of 69.24 decibels based on all of our noise tests to date. Additionally, we measured the docking station self-emptying noise levels. It measured 79.4 decibels, which is considerably louder than the robot's max operating noise. Here's what it sounds like on each mode. And here's what it sounds like while self-emptying. Roborock Q8 Max Plus is another exceptional robot from Roborock. It had great performance across our test, a convenient base station, and a large debris collection bag, and it's easy to use with a convenient app that greatly expands its capabilities and usability. However, there are a few drawbacks. The biggest is the lack of the self-cleaning on the docking station for the mop. In addition, the mopping pad can't raise when it approaches carpet. Those are definitely something to keep in mind. In addition, the obstacle avoidance tests weren't ideal as we did have some partial touches during our testing. Even so, given the competitive price point of the Q8 Max Plus, it may be easy to overlook some of these depending on your exact needs. Well guys, that's it for this test. Hey, stop! I, why? Yes, not even close. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Q8 Max Plus, we've got a link in the description. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us at moderncastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. Sam. Sam, there, there will be no joy off screen. <laughs> hey babe, we only have a few minutes left on this, and then you can ruffle all the papers you want. R report yourself to HR for that one.